Are you curious about why hydraulic jacks can lift loads of hundreds of kilograms? Although operating a hydraulic jack is simply a matter of pumping its handle, have you ever wondered how it can lift such heavy loads? The following animation will explain the process that occurs inside a hydraulic jack when it's in operation. First, let's understand the following principle. According to Pascal's law, the input pressure is equal to the output pressure. This means that when we create a difference in the surface area subjected to pressure between the input and output areas, it will produce different forces between the input and output. For example, consider the two pistons in the following cylindrical container. The input piston has a smaller surface area than the output piston. If we apply a certain force to the first piston, the lifting force produced by the second piston will be much greater than the input force. This is the principle behind why hydraulic jacks can lift heavier loads than the force we apply when pumping the jack. Now let's take a look at the 3D model of the hydraulic jack. A hydraulic jack has two cylinders, an input cylinder and an output cylinder. The input cylinder has a smaller diameter than the output cylinder. Two pistons are attached to each cylinder. The input piston is connected to a pumping mechanism. This mechanism makes it easy to raise and lower the input piston with just a handle movement. The length of the handle also affects the amount of force required to pump the jack. The longer the handle, the wider the radius of the motion. However, the force required becomes smaller. Meanwhile, the output piston is connected to an extension bar. This is an additional component that increases the height of the jack. If the object to be lifted is higher, we simply turn the extension rod until it touches the object. Both pistons are equipped with seals. These seals prevent fluid leaks when the hydraulic jack is in operation. On the outside of the jack, there is a reservoir tank. This stores the fluid used in the hydraulic system. The oil is filled through a filling hole usually located on the side of the jack. At the bottom, there are two channels. The first channel connects the reservoir to the input cylinder. The second channel connects the input cylinder to the output cylinder. In the middle of each channel, there is a one-way valve. This valve only allows fluid to flow in one direction, not back and forth. When we raise the input piston, it increases the volume in the input cylinder, reducing the pressure. This decrease in pressure creates a suction force that draws fluid from both channels. The reservoir valve opens when sucked in, while the output valve, on the other hand, closes when sucked in, preventing fluid from the output cylinder from being drawn in. Only fluid from the reservoir is drawn in. When we press the input piston, it reduces the volume in the input cylinder, increasing the pressure. This increased pressure pushes fluid through both channels. This time, the reservoir valve closes tightly when pressurized, while the output valve opens when pressurized. This causes fluid to be pumped entirely into the output cylinder. The increased fluid volume in the output cylinder pushes the piston, causing it to move upward. When we raise the input piston again, it reduces the pressure inside the input cylinder, and the previous process is repeated. The reservoir valve opens due to suction, but the output valve closes. This draws fluid from the reservoir to fill the input cylinder. When the input piston is pumped, fluid flows into the output cylinder, causing the output piston to rise higher. This cycle continues until the output piston moves higher and higher. Now how do we return the output piston to its lower position? It turns out there's an additional channel. It's called the bypass channel. This channel directly connects the output cylinder to the reservoir. The bypass channel is equipped with a release valve and a release bolt. In this position, 
The valve is pushed by the release bolt, so it's closed and the channel is blocked. But when we loosen the release bolt, it allows the release valve to move backward, opening the bypass channel. When the bypass channel is open, fluid flows directly from the output cylinder to the reservoir, lowering the output piston. That's the mechanism inside a hydraulic jack. Hopefully this adds to our knowledge. Subscribe and thanks for watching.